Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome back to another one of my pipe drive training videos. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about duplicates in pipe drive. I'm going to start by talking about how to avoid creating duplicate people and organizations in the first place and a few things that you should be watching out for, especially if you are importing data. And then if you do have lots of duplicates, I'm going to show you some of the ways that pipe drive identifies them and how we can go about cleaning those up. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you would like more one-on-one -on -one help with Pipedrive, setting up your account, automating your sales process, and training your team, then have a look in the description below to learn more about our Pipedrive consulting options. So firstly, a couple of things to look out for to avoid creating duplicates in the first place. Uh, firstly, when you create a new deal, uh, I'm going to do one here from the quick add menu. If I type the name of a contact, like Tim Cook, some people will then hit return on their keyboard when they see that menu pop up. And you can see here, this new, uh, new blue button or icon is telling me I'm now creating a brand new contact, which actually I don't want to do. If I go Tim Cook again and let it search, what I need to do is let it finish searching. And if I see a Tim Cook in here that is the one that I want to use, I can click and I can link that existing contact to my deal. But that's just something I've seen people do is they type a name, they hit return too quickly and you end up creating a duplicate. Same, so that's for people and organizations as well. Now, uh, also the other way that duplicates can get created by mistake is when you do an import. So if I go to my import data options, uh, I've got an import ready to go here. Now, when you import data, and you've done all your field mapping, so you've got your contacts and organizations ready to go, there are two options in terms of how you can have Pipedrive identify and, and deal with duplicate data. So one is that you can choose to create multiple records. To be honest, I've never really done this, but the use case for this would be if you have a spreadsheet with let's say 500 contacts on it, if you just wanna import all 500, you don't care if they exist, you want that spreadsheet existing in Pipedrive in your lead inbox maybe, you can just have multiple records created. But that will possibly result in some duplicates. Uh, most of the time when I'm importing data and I'm working with clients, we use the merge data option. So what this is gonna do is if Pipedrive, and you can actually learn more here, so when you use the merge duplicates option, what Pipedrive will do is if it finds two people with the same name, like Tim Cook, maybe you've got Tim Cook in your spreadsheet and you have a Tim Cook in your Pipedrive account already, it will then look at either the organization, the phone number, or the email address of both contacts to see if there is a match. So if we have Tim Cook's email in the spreadsheet and a matching email in, the, in your Pipedrive account, it's gonna flag that as a duplicate. And actually, if we have the merge option selected, it will then merge the spreadsheet Tim Cook with the existing one, which is great. With organizations, it's slightly different. It's gonna use the address. So if we have Apple in the spreadsheet and Apple in Pipedrive, it's then gonna look at the address to see if there is a match and then it will merge with the existing organization. Obviously, if you don't have enough data, if you're just importing names and you don't have phone numbers, emails, and addresses, there isn't really enough data for Pipedrive to try and flag duplicates, so that will result in duplicates. The other issue might be if you have Tim Cook with one email in your spreadsheet and Tim Cook with a different email address in Pipedrive, again, that could result in some duplicates, assuming we don't have a phone number to try and match them instead. So those are a few things to be thinking about when creating new contacts or importing data is you wanna be uh, importing you know, phone numbers, emails, addresses to try and have Pipedrive match uh, the duplicate or to avoid creating duplicates in the first place. If you do create duplicates, you will see them highlighted a couple of ways. So let's go to Tim Cook. Let's go to people here. I think let's go to this one. So you can see at the top, it's showing me there are two duplicates found. I can click view and merge, and I can see here, we've got Tim Cook, and it's, it looks like it's the phone number. We've got the phone number appearing twice on both versions of Tim Cook. So Pipedrive has flagged that for me. To merge, I can, I can click the view and merge, and I can um, click this preview button here, and I can preview what, what it's gonna look like after the merge, and then I can click merge. Or the other thing that I can do 
is on every contact, there is a merge option up here. So if I, or if I'm on an, uh, an organization as well, if I go to Apple, there we go. If I want to merge this organization, again, I have that option up here. So I can merge my contacts or my organizations at the uh, contact or org level. I can use that merge option. Or if you go to your more options and then merge duplicates, Pipedrive will identify all the potential duplicate people and organizations in your account. So a best practice might be just obviously visiting this page every now and then uh, just to see if it has flagged any duplicates. So here's Tim Cook, like I showed you before. It's got the two contacts with the same name and the same phone number, which is why they've been identified as duplicates. We have Satoshi Nakamoto down here, and they both have the same email. So again, they have been flagged as duplicates. So I can just, uh, yeah, preview. Uh, and actually, before I preview, what I want to do is on the right-hand side here, I want to select which one of these do I want to be my primary because they have different metadata associated with them. This one was created back in 2019. This was created today. So which one do I want to retain some of that metadata for? So I'm going to use this original one, the one that was created in 2019 as the primary, and I'm going to preview and then merge. Now, if uh, it will actually merge the information. So if I have some information about Tim Cook, uh, if I go to the details here, if I have one of my contacts has a birthday for Tim and the other one doesn't, it will then combine that data. If I have two different birthdays for Tim Cook, maybe one's correct and one's incorrect, the one that I select as the primary will be the one that keeps that data. Depending on the number of duplicates you have in your account, you may find this merge duplicates uh, option, you know, you might have hundreds or maybe even thousands of duplicates and going through one by one is going to be pretty time consuming. So an alternative is to check out a tool called dedupli. So the way dedupli works is you connect Pipedrive, your Pipedrive account to dedupli. It will then scan your um, contacts, your organizations, and even your deals for duplicates. N number one, the cool thing that dedupli can do is it can do bulk merging. So if you have hundreds or thousands of duplicates, you can select all of them and you can click a merge button and it can just do them all in the background. So it really does speed things up. The other thing I really like about dedupli is that we can specify different ways of identifying duplicates. So we can either say, find people who have the same first name and last name, ignore email, phone number, maybe we don't have enough data. Uh, and so we just wanna show everyone who, have this, who has the same name and it can show you that list. Or we could say, forget the names, just show me people with the same email. So these different, uh, the, they call them data pads, these different data pads you can go through to identify different sets of duplicates and so you can be a lot broader if you need to in terms of how you identify the duplicates. Whereas Pipedrive has those quite strict parameters, it's looking for people with the same name, phone number and email and org, uh, or at least a match with at least one of those. With dedupli I can just say just show me everyone with the same email or everyone with the same name, and then I can bulk merge them. So this is a tool that we use with quite a lot of our clients, especially if you have made a mistake with an import and we need to do a lot of cleanup. So that's a bit of background about how Pipedrive identifies your duplicates, a couple of things to watch out for, and ways that you can clean up your account. As I said at the start, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. If you'd like more help with Pipedrive, setting up or optimizing your account, getting more out of the tool, and automating more of your sales process, then check out my master Pipedrive program. When you sign up, you'll be able to join twice weekly group calls so that you can connect with me and get help and your questions answered anytime you need support with Pipedrive. Or you can book private one-on-one -on -one consulting sessions with me so that we can take a deep dive into your account, I can show you key features, and I can even conduct group training sessions. And you'll also get access to my online course, which goes into a lot more depth and detail and advanced topics compared to my YouTube videos. So if you really want to master Pipedrive, then sign up today and I'll see you on the inside.